Grace and peace in the name of Jesus Christ. May God protect you. This is a wonderful greeting offered in the Armenian Church. Welcome, Nara, back to North Carolina. Nara is the director of Project Agape and our dear friend in mission for many years. Thank you, I'm excited to be here. We have been engaged with Armenia along with the Western North Carolina Conference for 23 years. The history of the Armenian Church is a wonderful story. Can you tell us a little about how the church came to be? Uh, Armenia was the first country to accept Christianity as state religion in 301. Uh, one of Armenian kings asked Jesus Christ to go and, uh, and uh, help people in Armenia become Christians and he was sick, he wanted to be healed also by Jesus Christ, but uh, Jesus knew it was his time to live the wor this world and he sent that is in Bartholomew who went to Armenia and preached Christianity and this was when Armenia became Christian country. 301, 19 years before uh, the Romans became tolerant to Christianity. When we were in Armenia with you we visited a school and I commented on this beautiful plaque made by the children. Uh, immediately the teacher took it off the wall and said Take it home with you. Yes, I remember. I cherish it. And whenever I see it um, on my desk, I remember you in my prayers and give thanks to this partnership that we have shared. Tell us about Project Agape. Project Agape was a joint ministry of North Carolina and Western North Carolina conferences that was launched 23 years ago when Armenia and Karabakh were in uh, awful condition with war, natural and human-made disasters around them with earthquake, earthquake which happened in northern part of Armenia and the collapse of the Soviet Union and Project Agape is the one that continues to be with Armenian people in, the, in their difficult days today when again uh, there is uh, aggression and unrest at the border. So all these years Agape did great projects with hospital built in area which is the most vulnerable area uh, inhabited with refugees and resettled people from the earthquake zone and with children's home uh, uh, founded in 1995 and Christian education center but uh, now uh, Project Agape moves more towards uh, programs that help people to become self-reliable. Christmas boxes for Project Agape are one of our favorite mission endeavors here in the North Carolina Conference. Tell us about the Christmas boxes. Uh, that's one of the uh, projects that is, gives the biggest joy to the children of the area. And I have heard from many parents that uh, their children's joy. The first time we received Christmas boxes in 2009 and there were very few, 297 Christmas boxes and we used to save uh, toys for in different shipments and uh, give those as presents on Christmas event which is a great thing for the children of area. That's the only time many people say we realize it's Christmas. The word of the Christmas boxes just went out and children far from the area where the Agape mm -hmm. Center is from far villages walked 50 miles in snow to get to our Christ uh, center and receive Christmas boxes. Uh, this is just an amazing project and uh, as I told earlier, parents say the only joy of their children for the whole year. Your generosity blesses children in Armenia. It's time to start creating Christmas boxes again for Christmas 2016. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you, Nara. Our partnership is a great blessing. I'm wearing today at the beautiful Armenian cross that you gave to me and the others who have visited Armenia. It's a treasure. We thank God for you. Thank you. Thank you for all you do and may God bless you. May the strength and peace of Christ be yours this day. <laughs>